So I got a lot of pushback for the comment that I made about Sonia Massey. May her soul rest in peace. My condolences to the family. But I want to share something with everybody. The post that I put out, a lot of y'all said, I don't understand your logic. Mama is too soon for you to say this. But I'm going to share something with you. I don't regret anything that I said. If she was married, she would still be alive today. Yes, this is the truth. I know some of y'all think this is for clicks and likes. It is not. I'm telling you the, the, the truth. I'm telling you the truth. That a lot of content creators will sugarcoat. I'm telling you the truth. If she was married, she would still be alive today. Because the police would not have needed to be called. If there was a noise that was in the background, right? Or in the back, uh, she said, in the backyard. The husband would have looked out the window. If he saw nothing, he would have went outside just to double check. And it would have been nothing. More than likely, the noise was playing in her mind. Her mind was playing tricks on her because they said she was mentally unstable. Okay. And some of y'all even said, well, what if the husband wasn't home? Check this out. Everybody in the United States have cameras on their house. Everybody. Okay. I don't care where you live at. You have cameras on your house, front and the back. So if the husband wasn't home, she going to call her husband and tell her husband she hears some noise in the backyard. The husband would have told her, hold on, babe, let me check the cameras. He would have checked the cameras. He said, I saw nothing. There's nothing back there, babe. Go lay down, get some rest. I'll be home soon. That's how it would have played out. But some of y'all get in here and you get in your feelings because I'm not telling you what it is that you want to hear. I'm telling you she would have lived if she had a husband. That's what I'm telling you. Because the husband always bring forth logic and stability. Y'all miss that part because, you know, Isa don't need no man nonsense that y'all be saying on social media. So you mad with me because I'm telling the truth. Now, am I saying what the cop did was right? Oh, hell to the no. I'm not saying what the cop did was right. Okay. He was on demon time. I'm not saying he was right. But what I'm saying is the truth. If she was married, she would still be here today. But because y'all getting up here talking about I'm an independent woman, I don't need no man. You have sold your covering to Zaddy. And then you want to get mad with me because I came and told the truth and said, black women, we have sold our covering to Zaddy. Now, what I'm saying and my messages every time is not for all black women. But y'all ones who get offended. Okay, when I say stuff like this, a hit dog gonna holler, baby. A hit dog gonna holler. So if you got a problem with what I say, then it's hitting you, baby. It's hitting you. That's not my problem. That's your issue. Some of y'all get up here and say, well, that's why I don't follow her. How did you get the notification about the post if you don't follow me, baby? How you get the notification about the post if you don't follow me, baby? It is what it is, honey. It is what it is. I'm not going to get up here and sugarcoat it. If she was married, she would be here today. She would. And her family plays a part in this as well. Because they know their child is not in her right mind. They supposed to do wellness checks on her. Somebody call her. Somebody drive by the house to check on her. And those children look like they never clean a day in their life in that house. That house was not clean at all. Clothes was everywhere. And only why I'm talking like this is because... I grew up under a woman just like this. My mama was not all there. And me and my siblings struggled with that. We struggled with that. We went through a lot growing up 
because my mother was not in her right mind. So I know what those children have been through. I know what they've been through, but y'all not going to get up here and sugarcoat all this stuff. You're not going to get up here and sugarcoat it because the truth be told that she had a covering. None of this would have happened. And her family, if her family had togetherness, none of this would have happened. And I'm not throwing rocks at the family. My condolences to y'all. And I'm sorry about what happened. But my black community, my melanated community, you have to see the writing on the wall, damn it. Take heed to the message.